Okay, we're getting much closer to achieving my personal goal of a portable HHO generator, hydrogen fuel cell. There's my little KISS um, electrode configuration. Two bits of scrap stainless joined together with test leads. Um, the other end of the test leads, a bit hard to see there, goes up under my lid. And I found a uh, what I think is a pretty good way of getting your electrode through the lid is put some small bolts straight through the lid. Uh, put a nut on the top and a nut underneath. You can also put some stainless steel washers on if you like. Uh, that way you can have your wires disconnected at the top and um, you can have them directly wired underneath or just on little clips like I've done for test purposes. And that way you don't have any little holes that you can lose pressure out from your wires. So that works pretty good. Now we've just got that strapped on. We've got a little bit of water. I haven't measured the water in there yet. We've got a bit of water in there. Rainwater straight out of the tank. Two teaspoons of caustic soda and my little KISS fuel cell. So we'll hook it up and we'll show we're getting production out of this small unit. And we'll put that jobby on there. And there we have hydrogen production. Okay, and to show that we're getting a flame. There it is. How sweet is that? Obviously you have to work on the pressure, but uh, very shortly I'll put 12 volt car battery through this. Very shortly, very uh, short term. These wires, running thin wires obviously, they'll melt real quick, but we'll get a really good flame out of this small unit with those two bits of scrap stainless steel and a bit of rainwater. And uh, I'll show you how that works. So I'll be back in a second.